Hello, everyone, and welcome to the CSEP PayCore time card entry and approval training for host site supervisors. Today, I will show you how to enter in kind hours. These are hours that you spend training your participants. I will also show you how to enter participant hours into pay for and how to approve their time cards. You should have received login instructions to register into pay for. Once complete, pay for will remember what you have created and autofill this information for you each subsequent time you log in. If you have forgotten your login information or need to recreate it, select the appropriate link, such as forgot your username or forgot your password to do so. So let's start by finding your National ABLE Network participants and pay for. First, select manage employees circled here at the top left of your screen. PayCor has a new manage people view that makes it easier to find your participants. Once at this screen, select go to the new manage people view to access this view. Here, you can easily search for a participant. Simply type their name in the search for someone text box. In this example, let's search for Tina Trainee. After having typed in Tina Trainee's name, PayCore will direct you to her home page. To select her time card, select view time card in the middle right of your screen. PayCore will then take you to, your, to her daily details view. Before doing anything else, first verify that you are in the correct pay period. The pay period is shown in the area designated by the number one on this screen. Use the back and forward arrows to move to the correct pay period. Then select project time sheet designated by the number two on your screen to change to this view. Doing so will make it easier for you to enter the participants' hours. Notice the number three on your screen. This is the expand all feature where you can collapse or expand your daily details view screen to enter and change in kind and participant hours. Ideally, the participants should be entering their own hours on their own time card but you may have to do this if they are unavailable. More about this later. Let's first talk about entering in-kind hours. While still in the daily details view, once again, before doing anything else, make sure you are in the right pay period. PayCore enables you to track the hours you spend individually with your national ABLE network participants, such as when supervising them or providing feedback on how they are doing. This time is known as in-kind hours. Select the day where you want to enter your in-kind hours. Once selected, you will see a plus sign with the word add next to it. Hovering over add, will give you a drop down menu with the words punch, hours, and pay item. You will select hours. Once done, you will see another screen. 
On this screen, you will enter the number of in-kind hours you spent with the participant. Make sure you enter the correct number of in-kind hours. Next to the hours amount text box, at the top left of your screen, you will see a department text box to the right. This is very important. Do not change the department code. Our PACOR software has the department distinctions built in, so you don't have to be concerned about this. People tend to want to change this code because it appears as a required code, but PACOR has been designed to do this for you automatically. Do not change the department code. Next, select the text box under earning. You will see a drop down menu. And in this menu, select in kind. Select save, and then you are done for that day. Follow the same process for entering other in-kind hours for other days in that two-week pay period. You can also edit or delete the in-kind hours you've entered. If you make a mistake or want to delete the hours you've entered, simply select the day you want to change and look for the add button. Then, Select the daisy wheel, the small circle that looks like a gear. Select what you want to do, either edit hour or delete hour. If you want to change the in-kind hours, highlight the hours and then enter the correct number. If you want to delete your in-kind hours, select delete hour. Once you select delete, you will receive a prompt asking you to confirm that this is what you want to do. If so, select yes. Once everything is the way that you want, select save. Remember, do not change the department code. Let's now talk about how to enter participant hours and approve their hours in PACOR. Remember, once you get to the participant's time card screen, PACOR defaults to the daily details view. You will be able to tell what view you are in by it being highlighted in blue. So let's say you need to complete a participant's time card due to them not being available when their card is due. After verifying that you are in the correct pay period, change to the project timesheet view by selecting the project timesheet view link. It is circled here on the top left side of your screen. Once you have switched to the project timesheet view, your screen will look like this. As before, make sure you are in the right pay period before entering any hours. To enter their hours, first select new allocation. You will need to select new allocation each time you enter your participants hour for each pay period. You will also have to select new allocation if you are entering different types of hours. Once you select new allocation, you will see a screen that asks for departments and labor codes. All you need to do is select the appropriate labor code. Based on the type of hours you are entering, you should select the appropriate code or codes. You must do this for each type of hours being entered. For example, if you are entering hours where the participant was at your site, this would be CMS community service hours. If you are designating COVID 
paid leave for the participants, then you would select CPL COVID paid leave. There are different types of codes to select. If you have any questions about which code to select for a given activity, reach out to your participant's career coach. Once you have selected the appropriate code or codes, select save. To enter hours, choose the appropriate date and enter, enter the participants hours. Do this for each type of hour. For example, TRN training designated by the number one on your screen or their time at the host agency designated by CMS or two on your screen. Only do this for the hours they are receiving or providing services. Here's an example of a completed project timesheet. Once you have entered in all your hours, select save. If you would like to see the total amount of hours entered, scroll down to the bottom of the screen. As with in kind hours, you can also edit or delete the other types of participant hours you've entered. If you make a mistake and want to edit the hours you've entered, simply highlight the hours you want to change. Then change the number to what you want it to be or delete the hours altogether. So let's say you thought of the participant was at your site placement the week of April 19th, and you entered those hours and paid for. You realize though, that the participant was in training that week and actually not at your site. So what you will need to do is delete, to delete those community service hours, delete any training hours you entered that were incorrect, and enter any training hours for any other days you didn't initially include. Once you've made those changes and made sure all your new entries are correct, select save. Very important. The participant will need to enter their hours and approve their time card before you approve it. In this example, notice nothing appears next to the approve time box up towards the <clears throat> top right of your screen. This indicates that the participant has not approved their time card. If you approve it before they do, and there is a mistake, both of you will have to redo the time card. Once again, do not approve a participant's hours if they have not approved them first. You will know that the, depart that the participant has approved their time card when you see one approval. This is circled here under the pay period information to the top right of your screen. Once again, the participant must enter their hours and approve their time card before you can approve it. All participant time cards must be approved by both the participant and the site supervisor by the end of the business day on the last Friday of the two week pay period. This will ensure that the participant's time card is processed in a timely manner and that they are paid as scheduled. And that's it. This concludes the pay core training. Please reach out to the participants career coach if you have any questions. Thank you for attending and enjoy the rest of your day.